state I longed to find a brighter place Somewhere full of love and grace I dream of fields with a cool ocean breeze A home for my own family When I got my wish I pinched myself To make sure this home was real They sent for a boy But then I was a girl My dreaming had just let me down if I came as a queen with long ebony hair Then maybe they'd feel I was worth it for them I'm a good worker in spite of my talking I've longed to belong here for all of my life Don't send me away without seeing what I see Everything I touch is full of delights I'll do my best to not let you down I can imagine a world full of joy Just give me your hand and I'll teach you to hope You'll find that I've something worthwhile Just let me stay here and I'll I promise a life full of smiles. What if it hasn't arrived yet? I don't think I could wait another whole week. Only one way to find out. Oh my goodness, it is here! The deluxe double-sized early spring edition of... The Phaeton's Department Store Catalog! Isn't that the most beautiful puff leaf dress you've ever seen? Those pointy shoes don't look very comfortable. Diana, fashionable shoes aren't supposed to be comfortable. Otherwise, how would we tell they're not ordinary everyday shoes? Look, a motor car! Says here the engine has the power of 12 horses. You never see such fabulous things in Avonlea. <gasps> huh? <gasps> oh, my dress! Who was that? This meeting better start soon. I've got to fix dinner. Silence, silence, s'il vous plaît. The reason I've called this extraordinary meeting of the Women's Auxiliary is, as some of you know, Avonlea's own Amelia Evans, the star of the European stage, is gracing us with a visit. Miss Evans? The woman who ruined my dress? Ah. Miss Evans was a pupil of mine. <laughs> Clearly, I fostered her taste for the finer things in life. Modesty not being among them. So, I thought it would be only fitting to honor her presence with a theatrical event at the town hall. An evening of modernity, if you will. A what? You know, something in the continental vein. With music, dance, and poetry. I understand it's all the rage in Europe. I could do my animal impersonations. Here's a chicken laying an egg. I can juggle eggs. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, well, that's not quite what I had in mind. I think Matthew could be persuaded to play the saw harp. It was a big hit at last year's Raspberry Jamboree. People, the theme of the evening is modern. Miss Evans has traveled the culture capitals of the world. We can't have her thinking we're backward folk. Now, I've spoken with Mr. Grisham, and he's agreed to play a contemporary piano concerto. And Felicity has elected to perform oh. a modern dance. I can recite a poem. Excellent idea, Anne. Ready, aim, fire! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Gilbert, Felix, since you two are so mechanically inclined, why don't you do a presentation? Like, uh, what? <laughs> a photographic slide display using that magic lantern apparatus of yours. Miss Evans should find that very modern. And very illuminating. 
Then it's settled. Performers, you must be at your best and in your best for Miss Evans. We rehearse at the town hall in two days. Shall I read Shakespeare? No, he's too old. Such a rarefied occasion begs for the poet Tennyson. Don't you agree, Diana? Tennyson? But he's so... Mm, poetic. <sighs> Vex not the poet's mind. With thy shallow wit, vex not thou the poet's mind, for thou canst not fathom it. And there's plenty of what you say that I can't not fathom. I can't believe you got us suckered into this stupid evening of morbidity. Me? Miss Evans sounds quite famous. How come I've never heard of any Evans around here? Her parents are the Tuttles. The farmers who live up the road? You mean... Is she an orphan like me? No, she changed her name when she moved to Europe. Ah, uh, that's the most glamorous thing I've ever heard. Seems silly to me. I wish I could change my name. Anne Shirley sounds so, so unrefined. Miss King says the presentation has to be continental. What does that mean? Something to do with geography. No, silly. It means boulevards, cafe au lait, art exhibits, Poetry readings. The sophisticated life on the continent of Europe. Why don't you do a photographic essay of life right here in Avonlea? Yes. Miss Evans might appreciate that since she's been away so long. Why do we have to go through all this trouble for some stranger? seem to be stuck in the mud. Oh. Would you be so gallant as to assist me over that puddle? It would be a shame to spoil my new petticoats. Oh. <laughs> uh, Gilbert and Felix would be happy to, Miss Evans. <laughs> That's the virtue of farm spun clothes. One needn't worry about getting them dirty. Merci beaucoup. Oh, such a darling gentleman. Miss Evans, your parasol. Thank you ever so much. My, those pigtails are so, so Avonlea. Toodaloo. <gasps> Gilbert, are you okay? I think he has a crush on Miss Evans. She is very beautiful. Perhaps Miss Evans will be so impressed with my elocution that she'll take me on a tour of Europe. If she doesn't ask me first. Mother's getting me a new puff sleeve dress just for the occasion. What are you going to be wearing, Anne? Uh, my Sunday dress. Does it have puffed sleeves? No. Oh, too bad. You'll be very unfashionable. Bad? Exactly. It's worse than bad. It's ghastly. Oh, I must have a new dress. Otherwise, I'll look so... so... Avonlea! Then why don't you buy one? <sighs> Forty-five cents. It's a start. Maybe Marilla will... Certainly not. But everybody will be wearing puff sleeve dresses. Your Sunday dress is perfectly fine. But it's not fashionable. People will be listening to you recite poetry, not looking at your dress. <laughs> this is silly. Shh. I'm trying to create a vision here. I thought we were going to photograph life in Avonlea. But not the real Avonlea. It would hardly impress Miss Evans to see a bunch of cows. Now, serve the wine. It's grape juice, dum-dum. <sighs> Hurry up. We're running out of light. And I'm running out of patience? Some grape juice wine, mademoiselle? <gasps> you wanted to talk about something? Uh, um, Matthew? 
Matthew, as you know, my recitation is in a few days, and it seems my Sunday dress is a trifle... well... Rotten. Ugh. Termites. Looks like we're gonna have to replace the whole section. That's gonna cost a pretty penny. Oh, sorry, Anne. What were you saying? Uh, it's nothing. I didn't have the heart to ask Matthew for more money. Next to fixing the barn, a new dress just seemed too extravagant. You can borrow my dress if you like, when I'm finished with this ridiculous pose. But, Diana, that's your last good dress. You've done so much for me, Anne. It's the least I can do. Oh, Diana, that is the act of a true kindred spirit. Shh! The artiste is trying to work. Diana, stay still. I am. But you're sinking in the frame. That's because I am sinking! <laughs> <gasps> oh. I hope the dress isn't ruined. Nothing a day in the sun and a good ironing won't fix. <gasps> the dress! That's it! My days as an artiste are officially over! To heck with Miss King's evening of mobility or whatever it is. There's nothing and nobody in this town worth photographing. <clears throat> what about me? Miss... Miss Evans? I adore having my picture taken, and I assure you, I'm a most cooperative model. All the girls are wearing them. Why must I be the only one without puffy sleeves? If I had a puff sleeve dress, I'd be sure to impress Miss Evans. Something in shimmering emerald green with the biggest puff sleeve dress in the whole wide world. Just like this! With sleeves like this, I'm positively floating. Bit of a tight squeeze. Hey, this is fun. Miss Evans, Miss Evans. Hello there. Why, Anne, you look radiant in that dress. Why not come on a European tour with me? Oh, I'd love to. Felicity, did you hear that? Miss Evans is taking me to Europe. What? Not in that ratty old blanket. Huh. <gasps> <gasps> oh, I must have a puff sleeve dress. I must. What's next on the list? Baking soda and pepper. You're looking dapper today, Mr. Gresham. We've been hat shopping. See my new feather chapeau? It's very, um, colorful. Thank you. Oh. Camilla, what's the matter? These new shoes. Aren't they wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> my, aren't we all fancied up, Gilbert? Miss Evans has agreed to let me take her photograph tomorrow. My mother bought me a new suit and I'm breaking it in. Gilbert and Miss Evans sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Why, you little runt! <laughs> this evening of absurdity has certainly gone to everyone's head. Anne? Anne? Oh, what a grand dress! With a grand price, too. It would look wonderful on me. <gasps> huh. uh. Green taffeta. And it's only four cents a yard. Why spend your allowance on fabric? I'm going to sew puff sleeves on my Sunday dress. Won't that seem a trifle mismatched? But green suits me. Everybody says so. Vanity, thy name is Anne Shirley. I'm not being vain, Marilla. I'm just being economical. Huh. <sighs> what do you think? Uh, um... Now, that's a very lovely costume. What are you supposed to be? It's a... 
No, don't tell me. Let me guess. You're a tree. Those green things on your shoulders are leaves, right? Oh, I know. Oh. You're a bird uh. with wings. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? Is everything all right, Anne? It was a failure. A valiant attempt, to be sure. Maybe if I had a new hairdo, then no one would notice what I'm wearing. Anne, don't you think it's time you stopped worrying about your appearance? You do have a rehearsal tomorrow. <gasps> the recital! What do you intend to read? Uh, it's a surprise. Now, why does this irregularity not surprise me? No, no, no. Those lights are far too bright, Mr. Gresham. Lower, please. Not many complexions can hold up to such scrutiny. Goodness knows, mine can't. Master Blythe, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Fire it up, Felix. Oh, that's a beautiful photograph. It's nothing compared to the pictures I'll be taking of Miss Evans. If only she'd get here soon. What time is she supposed to arrive? An hour ago. Bonjour, les enfants. Sorry I'm late, but I was trying to reach an impresario from New York. How exciting! He wants to meet with me, so I'm afraid I cannot attend today's rehearsal. But what about our session? Our what? Don't you remember? <laughs> I'm supposed to take your picture. Oh, dear. Some other time, perhaps. When? Let me see. I have my hair appointment, and tomorrow I get my nails done. Hmm. How's Friday? But Friday's too late. Oh, dear. That reminds me. I must call my manager. I don't suppose there's a telephone in this old barn. <gasps> Not a problem. We can easily glue it. What's the point? There won't be a slideshow. Oh, don't be upset, Gilbert. I'm sure Miss Evans didn't mean to be so rude. Let me go. I'll get a broom. I'll be there as soon as I'm done with this silly evening of mediocrity. <gasps> they are such charming country bumpkins, really. Believe me, Alfredo, I can't wait to get back to civilization. It was positively crushing to hear her say those awful things. Looks like Miss Evans isn't as lovely on the inside as she is on the outside. To think I was so taken by her fine clothes and elegant demeanor when underneath all the puff and pageantry lurked a vile, cold-hearted... Now let's not get carried away. And... I thought we might ride the sorrel mare into town and buy you one of those dresses with the poofy sleeves. I figure since everyone else in town's getting all gussied up, you might as well too. Thank you, Matthew, but I don't really need a poofy dress. Why not? Because people will be listening to my recitation, not looking at my clothes. Speaking of which, I have work to do. What do you intend to read? I've decided to write a poem. Something that expresses how I really feel. What do you want my crummy slides for? You'll see. Not that I care anymore, but I doubt Miss Evans will find them very continental. My idea precisely. Come on, let's find Diana. Sentimental, continental, uh, boulevards. All memorized? Yes, Marilla. Thanks for helping me. How do I look? Very pretty, but something's missing. <gasps> what? This. A brooch. It belonged to my mother. It's small and plain and not likely to be noticed, but... Oh, Marilla. Uh -oh. It's the most beautiful thing I could wear. Glad you're here. You haven't missed much. I'm afraid Mr. Gresham isn't very well practiced. Oh dear, you look marvelous. 
what happened to your puffed sleeves? In Paris, they only wear puffed sleeves in the daytime. Huh? Anne is next. <clears throat> Ode to Avonlea by Anne Shirley. The town I call home is not quite so continental. The women may not wear the finest lace. The men at times show little taste. And excuse me if I seem a little sentimental, but in my heart I know there is no finer place than my sweet home, Avonlea. Hit it, Matthew! Avonlea, Avonlea, my sweet home, Avonlea, where the blithe pig likes to dress in his mistress's Sunday best. <laughs> and, and the cows, cows really, really do jump, jump over, over the, the moon. moon. Avonlea, Avonlea, my sweet home, Avonlea, until the sun sets in the west, a farmer has no time to jest. Thank goodness folks still take the time to sit and rest. Avonlea, Avonlea, my sweet home, Avonlea, where the sorrel mare's strength is a cause for celebration, and her enormous appetite causes much consternation. And a mother isn't necessarily a blood relation. <laughs> Avonlea, Avonlea, my sweet home, Avonlea. It may not have the boulevards of Paris, or the gilded gondolas of Venice. But it's still our home sweet home, Avonlea. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! Why be so stuffy? This performance calls for more spirited praise. I'll never forget the expression on Miss King's face when you started oinking. <laughs> <laughs> that was priceless. But everybody seemed to enjoy themselves. Even Miss Evans. Yes, guess we reminded her that Avonlea has its own special style. You don't have to worry about getting them dirty. <laughs> 